In today's video, I'm going to show you how I do some texturing of some fabric panels. This would be for like the knee pads of joggers, the shoulders of a moto jacket or a moto shirt. We're going to do it with a twin needle. And this is where you want tunneling. I've got cone thread in my needles and cone thread in my bobbin. And I have my needle presser, my needle tension up to nine. Now what we're going to do is, I've already done two rows here. What you do is find a foot that has a small distance between the right edge and where you can move the needle over to the rightmost without hitting the presser foot. So you get this space between the rows. Then what you do is you put your fabric in here and you line up your presser foot so it's right on the line or against the one of the first rows that you did. So you make sure you make parallel lines. When you do a textured panel like this, parallel lines are the most important part of it. Because even if they're off a little bit, it'll look terrible. And you just continue doing lines down your fabric. Now you have to do this before you cut your fabric, your panel to size or your piece to size. Because it will shorten up in the width when you do this because of the little tunneling. Then you just continue down and you end up and you keep continue going down the fabric in order to make a raised panel textured. Of course you want to use matching threads, not contrasting threads. Now we're going to do a contrasting panel, I mean the textured panel with complementary or matching threads. Do your first row. That's your first row of textured. Now, you line it up here. Again, like I said earlier, I'm lining up the outer edge of the presser foot here right against the line here. So I'm only having maybe a eighth of an inch between here and there. You do another row. And you see how I'm finishing off the, the stitching. I lift up the press foot all the way and lift it up a little higher. And I use a tool to push it back so I don't stretch or distort the tunneling I just did or the twin needle stitching. I've got two rows done.
Can you do a fourth row? And this is how I may use tunneling to my advantage. I do this on the pair of joggers on the knee pad, the shoulders on a mototype shirt or jacket. You can make yourself a textured panel of fabric.